All right, I'm going to jump into mine, and I'm going to I'm going to do steroids in mine too. Okay. Excellent. My Thanks question, for a good story my, every time. Yeah, my scenario is: What if Barry Bonds never became enmeshed in a steroid situation, and <laughs> what would have been his final home run total? That's what I want to know. So, okay. Barry played seven seasons in Pittsburgh. And during that time, he had 984 hits, 556 RBIs, 251 stolen bases, and he was successful 77% of the time in his stolen base attempts, by the way. He was only caught stealing 72 times out of that 251 attempts. Struck out only 590 times, which puts him at 16% of his at-bats. He only struck out 16% of the time of his at-bats. Did Which that number amazing. go down as he went into his career, as he went further into his career too? I didn't do the math, but I, I would be interested to, to look into that. That's a good question. Let's take a look while you talk. Okay. Um, okay, and then his batting average was 275, OBP 380, 503 slugging, and an OPS of 883 across seven seasons in Pittsburgh. So if he had, he would have still left Pittsburgh. Okay, same deal is made. He goes to San Francisco. None of that changes. Okay, part of the reason he goes to San Francisco is because that ballpark is built for his swing and it's absolutely going to be more hitter friendly and he just is going to win every day. He's going to win when he's at when he's in San Francisco. Okay, then. He would have increased his season averages as he got older, more mature, plus the the hitter-friendly ballpark. He does the old guy thing where he starts to put on a little more muscle mass, and he's, get, he's not quite as swift on the base paths. However, he remains a base-stealing monster, and he, re, and he maintains most of his form, right? And I'm, I mean his physical form, not his, you know, playing form. His physical form. So he stays on the base paths. He would have then been traded to an American League team around uh, his age, I don't know, 33, 34 season. He gets traded away to an American League team. He becomes a full-time DH. Instead of 22 seasons in Major League Baseball, he then rounds his career out with 19. He falls a handful of years short because age. Uh, And that puts him at his age 39 season is when he is when he he's done being a uh, full-time DH and he's and he's done. His final numbers look like this. He continues to average 32 homers per season as his career progresses over the next 11 years. Plus the 176 homers he hit while he was in Pittsburgh and that gives you a 530 home run career. Okay? So he makes it into the 500 home That's run. That's pretty run. dang good. Especially it's pretty good. Bases. Yeah. That means that he's, like I said, he's averaging 32 per year in the 11 seasons after he left Pittsburgh. So that's 354 home runs o- across 11 seasons. Um, and that's with time as a full-time DH in the American League. Then he also finishes career having stolen 500 bases. So 500, 500 club? Yep. Is anybody in the five? Does that even exist? Is that a thing? I don't think so. I don't know. I'm gonna look. So you said what did you say his strikeout rate was in Pittsburgh? Sixteen percent. Sixteen percent. Fifteen percent in San Francisco. Wow. Dropped one percent, which is significant with that many at bats. Uh, stealing second base at Pacific Bell Park in the eleventh inning, Baron Bonds. Barry Bonds becomes the first player to hit 500 home runs and steal 500 bases in his career. He did that in 2003. He's the only one. So he still was the only guy to do it. (laughs) And in my alternate history, he's still the only guy to do it, but he does it um, a lot faster and, uh, and on a more steady average. For sure. It's it's nuts to like, like people say all the time, like Barry Bonds was a Hall of Famer before steroids. And you just proved it that. Oh, it's un- with it's your trajectory undeniable. that that's exactly how things would have gone. It's undeniable. And I, I think yeah. that the scenario I com- came up with is is a 100 percent plausible and what he would have done. So, yeah, 
Yeah, for sure. He was Ricky Henderson with power. That's right. That's exactly what he was. That's exactly what he was at clutch moments, too. And you put him on big teams. Easy. It's insane. Easy. A Hall of Famer. No questions. Yeah, absolutely. That's insane. 